Rage Powder, that's fine. I'm going for you anyway. Get him, Lucha. Let's go. Gotcha good. What's up, everyone? It's your sweet boy, Matt, and welcome back to another episode of Broken or Bogus, where I take Pokemon that I think are overlooked, or maybe they're just bad, and try to test them and give them a chance on the online Pokemon VGC ladder, all that junk. Uh, today, this is a team I built myself. Um, it features Hall Lucha. Um, this idea sort of comes from other creators who have done this in the past, watching a lot of videos of Hall Lucha and seeing how people used it. And now it's sort of updated for Regulation F, basically taking all the tools that are now available in Regulation F and seeing how it can fit into a team archetype. So basically how Hall Lucha works here is it has the ability Unburden, which when it loses its held item, it doubles its speed. So you pair that with Psychic Seed, which is going to give it a plus one to its special defense when Ndd sets up the Psychic Terrain. It's going to get a boost to its speed. It's going to have double speed. Acrobatics is going to do double damage. And then you could do a Follow Me from Ndd and then a Swords Dance, and then this thing just becomes a sweeping machine. So you pair that with Iron Crown, who can spam Expanding Force. You pair that with Chien Pao, who can power up the abilities of physical attackers by lowering the defense of everyone else. And then to balance it out, you got Flutterfish down at the bottom, which always does good stuff. It's a great pair. Chiyu pairs well with Iron Crown. It's just, I think this team has a lot of synergy that is good. And I think it could be really good into this meta. Any other Pokemon you want me to use, comment down below or join my Discord. I just added a team building or team suggestions server on there, channel on there. So if you built a team and you want to see it used on this channel, please join the Discord and post it on there. And then like the video, subscribe to the channel. You know how YouTube works. You know what I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to do here. Okay, cool. Let's get to the video. All right, big boss. What's this gonna be? Um, hmm. I feel like a lot of this is actually halucha food. Not gonna lie. Um, because flying press is fighting and flying, so that's good into like half this team. It's good into Roaring Moon, it's good into Urshifu, it's good into a Moongus, and then Acrobatics can get neutral onto the rest. Yeah, this is uh, this is Halucha food, definitely. So let's let's do our lead here, let's go for it, um, with Halucha and um, Ndidi. And then in the back, we are going Psychic Terrain, so I do feel like Iron Crown is pretty solid here, although, the homie here is pretty good too. Chien Pao. I definitely need answers for um, roaring or not roaring, um, gouging fire, which I feel like I feel like this pairing is best to deal with gouging fire and raging bolt. Yeah, because then we're gonna prevent priority in thunderclap, which is good. I don't know if they have any way to clear terrain. Unless they got Ice Spinner on Water Ursh, if that's Water Ursh. I feel like this team could absolutely be um, Alucha food. I do. <laughs> I, think, I think Alucha could do well here. Okay, wait. They're kind of swagged out with the shiny Ar Arbok. Okay, damn. <laughs> Hold up. And they got the, the short shorts fit. They're kind of going crazy. Okay, so they want to as well go for Rage Powder, which is kind of interesting. So, this is gonna be tough, because Halucha could just fold here. I don't wanna get spored. Here's what we do, we Swords Dance here. I think we Swords Dance here and we go for a follow me. It'd be great if I had safety goggles on right now, because that's really what I need. I think we follow me. Get off the swords dance. Bing bang bong. Let's see how we do here. If we get spored, that sucks. Get Rocky helmeted. Gotcha, boo. I'm so sorry, but you're getting Rocky Helmeted. I feel like they might go Spore here, which is not the worst thing in the world. Got a good amount of damage there. Pollen Puff. Okay. That's fine. Actually, that's actually kind of good, because now we can bring in Iron Crown and start like a sweep. 
This is actually kind of great, I think, because we speed boost here and we get a double target. Unless they go like Terra, oh, special attack height. No, I screwed it up. <laughs> oh no, I accidentally got a special attack up Iron Crown. How did I do that? I could have sworn that I, I don't know. I'm not amazing at this, I guess. Um, okay, so flying press. Let's go acrobatics into I want to get the insurance of being able to take out Urshifu. I could just also go Terra Grass and not worry about that. Terra Grass might actually not be bad here. I think we go Acrobatics here and then Terra Grass Expanding Force here. I really thought I had a speed boosting Iron Crown. I kind of screwed that up. <laughs> I don't know how. I really like, I double check the stats and everything, but oh well, I guess. Rage powder, that's fine. I'm going for you anyway. Get him, Lucha. Let's go. Got you good. Oh, <laughs> Lucha gets a kill. It hurts, but. Alucha might take it. No, maybe not. Yeah, see, that's the issue where um, the surging, where the speed boost would have mitigated that. So this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> well, that's fine. We still smoke them. It'd be even better under like Trick Room, but alas. All right, Flutter. So we're now both two for two. Speed boosting would have really gotten us the, uh, the sweep. Fluttermane could have stayed in. Okay, so Fluttermane eats Roaring Moon. And then what we do here is, so they got the proto, their attack boosted. They are probably going to go like Terra Steel or something. Right? We could just go Dazzling Gleam and hit both. I think we go Dazzling Gleam and hit both. And then we go... I want to say Tachyon Cutter into Roaring Moon. Because they're definitely Terra. Each one is a good Terra option, so I didn't want to like pick a single target move. Probably go Steel. Oh, Flying. Okay, so Tachyon Cutter is pretty solid here, actually. Honestly, pretty decent. They protect. If we outspeed Roaring Moon here, we just take it out. I think. Maybe we don't actually, even with the boost. That's kind of crazy even with the boost. That's actually kind of nuts. Watch us lose this. Yeah, we kind of goofed. But we Dazzling Gleam here. And we might be able to finish it off because they can't Thunderclap. Big Dazzling Gleam. Let's get a crit. Let's go crazy. That's fine. They're trying to, to get rid of... Um, they're trying to hold out on um, the Psychic Train. They want to waste it so they can Thunderclap. Which, like, sure. Oh, they just go for a Thunderbolt. Because Thunderclap could kill here. Oh, wait, it can't. Haha, <laughs> one more turn. Haha. <laughs> yeah, they really want Thunderclap to go off to win the game. It could work, but I Thunderclap is weaker than Thunderbolt, so we should live it, is a thing. Unless they get like a crazy crit. Oh yeah, we should live. Okay, so they're going for Thunderclap here big time. 
But I think we should be able to take it. Because it's going to do less. Oh, oh, and the crit, bro. My Fluttermain, my Fluttermain's beefy, bro. I'm so sorry, but... Yo, Dead Wife is beefy. Oh, and the crit, bro. I'm so sorry. Everything went well for you. He literally literally did everything right. All right, hold on. Not that, that, the ice team. No. Um, I think I planned around the ice team, though. Yeah, I think I kind of planned around the ice team a little bit, if I recall correctly. Do we lead with it regardless? Do we just go for it? We just full send. I don't know. It's like, could they lead like it's over, you know? And then what we got to do here is we got to lead um, Iron Crown and then have a Lucha in the back. And then in the back, I think we got to bring. You got to bring Spicy Tuna here, right? It's like, because they're defense boosting, you want special attacks. Yeah, you got to bring Spicy Tuna, right? I think that's the move. Um, Cause then we can just, cause then we can just tack in Cutter into um, Nine Tails. Yeah, this is how this is gonna go down. I'm so sorry. I'm not dealing with Articuno. The <laughs> Stuart Articuno, too. and I contributed it to it too, cause I made like a video. So I contributed to the Articuno hype. I can't like say that I didn't like help advertise this but you know you reap what you sow i guess oh woof oh man and they don't even have a good trainer car this is messed up this is messed up what do you got bozo there they are oh no articuno okay hmm what do we do here boys I think we gotta follow me big time. Big follow me hours. We got a tacking cutter here. And then we got, we should follow me, right? In case they go for like an earth power or something. You don't wanna go Terra Grass in case they go Blizzard right off the bat. We go follow me right here. Right here. Give me that earth power or poison. Probably earth power. Aurorvale sucks. We don't love it, but I don't got any taunt. Yeah, give me that. We eat those. I wish I eat those better. Ooh, yeah. Take that, buddy. Okay, so the Aurorvale's up. The Aurorvale is up. Which isn't great, but... Hopefully, if they descend an Articudo, we can take that out with Tacky and Cutter here. And go for another follow me. I think that's how we handle this. Iron Crown's goofy as hell, bro. But it's good. I only wish I had the speed booster one. I goofed it. Oh, Arcanine. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. That's absolutely, um, what's it called? Food, though. All Lucha food. So we go for the expanding force here. Can we go for another follow me. We should be able to take both hits if the extreme speed. Oh, you can't, bro. It's psychic terrain. Come on now. How many years into this meta are we? How many years into having terrain are we here? Come on now. This is what I get for being in Great Ball tier. <laughs> and by what I get means I am also this good. <laughs> I would probably be getting into Master Ball if I didn't use Trash Pokemon constantly. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. All right, Psychic Seed, we get her. Give me that Spadef boost. So I got to take out... Um, the homie here, uh, Lando, because I don't want to get earth powered. So we go for an expanding force, and then I think we should be okay to just acro. Acro should take it out. Acro Acrobatic should take it out. We should outspeed too. Oh, they want to get the uh they want to get the 
and their intimidate off. This is about to be Articuno. No, they didn't even bring Articuno this time. Oh, we don't take it out with acrobatics. Wait, it's it, it it's floppier. It's flop time. All right, Chiu Chiu cleans it up. What do we want to lock into a Chiyu? I think a Dark Pulse. I think we got to lock in a Dark Pulse here. Because... I don't want to get flat. Well, it doesn't have Flash Fire, but it is quad resistant to fire, so we don't want to do that to Arcanine. Um, I also don't want to touch Ogre Pawn, so I'm going to go... Hmm... No, we got we got to take it out. We have to take it out. Because an Earth Power is going to completely take out Chiyu. But yeah, we, we got to take out Lando. That's fine. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. That's cool. Oh, they double protect. So a sword Dance. I thought about going for a cheeky sword Dance, and I didn't. Trying to wait out my psychic terrain so they can e speed me. Do we do it again? I don't think they go for. I think what we do here is we dark pulse here and then I think we acrobatics here because they're not going to go for. You know what we do? We flying press just in case they switch Arcanine into that slot. They don't double spiky shield though. They're not stupid. Okay, so this is good if they terrestrialize. Okay, that's actually not terrible. The spadef up isn't good, but I think we're going to do a big amount of damage here with flying press. Unless they double spiky shield like a freak. That's fine. Halucha should be faster, right? And take it out. Or no, I guess. I guess we are just double targeting that one. Not great. This hurts. Probably kills. Yep. Okay. Not great. Halucha. What's the move here, big boss? How we doing this? Weirdness disappears. Oh, there's still a roar veil. That's why they're taking hits like crazy. Okay, they're not going to go Earth Power. But I don't think we need to reveal that just yet. I think we go... Flying Press. Which is not very effective, but it should still take it out. Because I just don't want to do neutral damage to... How many more turns of Aurora Veil are there? Three... I think we flying press here. Gotcha good. And then they're going to intimidate me, which sucks. I don't know if Halucha brings it home. I'm not quite sure. Okay, wait, Halucha hangs on. Not messing around here, big, big guy. Is there any point in like waiting out? I'm trying to detect here and wait out Aurora Veil. I don't really know if there is. Hmm. There's like no way we live. I think we go for detect just to give ourselves a fighting chance, but I don't think it happens. It doesn't happen, kids. I think we gotta we gotta recognize when we're done though. Here's what we do. Ready? We because because we're not taking this thing out unless we go for a detect. So we go Terra Steel. No, we detect again. All we have is double detect. We go for double detect. Look, let's go. Let's go. Okay, wait. So then what we do is we Terra Steel. 
maybe very unlikely, but incredibly unlikely, live in extreme speed from Arcanine and then flying press or acrobatics in two. This is the only chance. Ready? Terra, acro, right here. The only chance. But then we just get extreme speeded again, but we like, listen, we give it a fighting chance. Either, there's like, there's like literally a 1% chance that we win this match. Like a 1% chance, but I want to give Halucha some glory here. Okay, follow me. <laughs> Can you imagine if we lived that? I had to give like Halucha the chance at glory. And it's okay, you know, we lost. It's fine. This is a tough team for Halucha to go up against. But um, Halucha fought valiantly, I would say. Good job to the Luch. Oh, weird. What in the world is this? Um, weird. But I'm definitely going to get steamrolled by this because I, I just don't know what this is. Um, I'm absolutely getting steamrolled by this. Um, but what we do here is we, we lead in DD, um, and then I feel like Fluttermane's pretty good into a lot of these. I have no terrain setters. What in the world am I looking at here? Um, let me go Fluttermane, Halucha in the back and Iron Crown. That's been like, kind of like my, like go to a little bit, but. I think it's good if I were better at this game, which y'all watch me, you know I'm mid. I'm here for banter. Okay, <laughs> wait, he got Mike Wazowski'd. Oh no. Banger track. Banger track. Okay, sure. What's happening? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. I am not quite sure. They booster energy. Special attack heightened. Okay, I'm kind of terrified of that thing. I'm a little terrified. I think we go follow me here. Um, what's it called? Good heavy slam, which isn't good. Um, which is not good. And then we go Shadow Ball here. But I think Carbon can absolutely be carrying Heavy Slam and, and hurt me big. But I guess that doesn't matter because I just follow me, but you gotta think. Think of everything. Hey, not even half. Sludge Wave, it hurts. That hurts a lot. Trick Room, I see the vision. I understand. I think what we do here is. This is interesting. What do we do here? The sludge waves hitting both. We got to swap one of them. I think what we go here is we undo their trick room and then here we swap into iron crown. We don't take anything from Sludge Wave. And then we get Expanding Forest. I think Helping Hand would have been more helpful here, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. Steel Psychic? I'm so sorry. We're not getting Sludge Wave. Light Screen kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. But we eat that. We set that trick room back, baby. None of that. And what we do here is, I think they're gonna go trick room again. Did we just double target. Do we just attack here? I think we just attack. We go expanding force or what do we do? Yeah, I think we gotta go. We could take out Carbink before it has a chance to do anything, but I think 
I think we gotta take out Carbank. I, I think we have to take out Carbank. Okay, watch them thinning. Do they have any dark types? What are they even at? What do they even got? Okay, okay, so this is actually pretty good. Because expanding force wouldn't have done jack. So we kind of ate. I'm not gonna lie. I wish the other attacking cutter would go over there, but that's not how this goes. So I think here we can swap Fluttermane to reset, um, to have Ndidi in the back to reset Psychic Train when we need it to give Halucha time to shine. So Viper is interesting. That's something else. I feel like I should be more afraid of Surviper, but <clears throat> I really do, but I'm more afraid of Gardevoir, honestly, because it can pack Trick Room and I just can't have that. I think that's what we go for. Because Gardevoir just completely walls Halucha, and this is Halucha's game, so. Ooh, this is not even gonna kill. Oh, that light screen, bro. Oof. Ooh, what are they, they got weakness policy? Oh, uh, okay, interesting. Snarl sucks. That sucks big time. Trick Room is up. Okay. That's rough. No point in bringing Didi back in. I think a Didi comes in. How many more turns of Psyche Train do we have? I don't know if in if Fluttermane dies and then it sets up Psyche Train. I, I'm just not sure. But we gotta go expanding force here. I mean, it hurts. That hurts big time. We don't like that. We don't like it. Daz also hurts. What would a what's a minus? What are we gonna be at? Minus one special attack here. We can still do some damage, but not with a light screen. We don't even take out Gardevoir, which is flop. Okay, so now Ndidi comes in, sets us back up for victory here. Ndidi might be the slowest Pokemon, so I might be able to sneak in a Heal Pulse. And there's no point in trying to undo um, Trick Room because we're just going to die before then. So I think we set up a Heal Pulse here. And then another Expanding Force, maybe. They terrastalize. The issue is like, what does Halucha do? Was it dark? Oh, ground, interesting. Okay, well, that's kind of better for Halucha, but Halucha just gets outsped like crazy now. EQ, telepathy. I'm surprised that, um, well, I think my Ndidi is a little, a little on the speedier side. So that's kind of Ndidi's lost a bear here now the issue for is we still have another turn of life do i will literally murder you that's so flop not this light screen wears off okay can halucha bring it home how many more turns of Trick Room? That, that's what like determines if Halucha can bring this home. So how many more turns of Trick Room do they have? Two. They can Snarl, which kind of doesn't super matter. I think Steel sucks because it's good against the Psychic, but bad into Earthquake. And we're avoiding earthquakes right now. I think what we do is we detect to kind of scout. They're probably just gonna life do again though. Just trash. 
Oh, Coil? They know. They knew. They knew. Yo, I told you I was going to get swept by this. I told y'all. Future Sight? What in the world are we packing? What in God's name are we packing here? Insanity. Okay, so here's what we can do. Ready? They have one more turn of Trick Room, right? They're not going to go for Earthquake. We Terra Steel. We Terra Steel Acrobatics into Guard of War. Because they're not going to go for Earthquake because they're not dumb. We give Halucha a fighting chance, bro. So we live both these attacks, right? And then Trick Room's up. We outspeed. It doesn't matter. So if we get a crit, we can win. But we're not going to. They life do because they're crazy and smart. Yeah, they're going to win this. We take out Gardevoir, which is kind of sick. And now the only way we win is if we crit here. If we miraculously... Oh, wait, they have two Pokemon? Uh-oh. That ain't it. So now they really don't want to go for Earthquake, though, is the issue. They could absolutely go for... I mean, I guess they don't care. I mean, if they if they kill... I guess it doesn't matter. But then we get absolutely murdered by... A Fire-type attack. I think our only option here... There's no point in detecting. Because we're not taking out... It's a Viper. It's a Viper can just earthquake. It doesn't matter. I don't think there's any way out of this. We got it. We hope for a crit is what we do. We don't get it. Then we just lose here. Okay. Listen. Alucha fought back. And I told you I was going to get swept by this like team. Because I just didn't know what to expect. Yo, they need to make a broken or bogus to Viper video. Because they got me good. They got so Viper good. In conclusion, I kind of got bodied there. <laughs> um, you know, I never claimed to be amazing at this game. If you're watching a Sweet Boy Matt video, you're, you're probably going to watch me get steamrolled. But Ha Lucha really fought hard. And I don't think the team suffered because of Ha Lucha necessarily. I think Ha Lucha was doing well. I think a lot of the failures came from more me being kind of mid at this. So, Halucha kind of broke this. Like, I think that you could, if you're like a big Halucha fan, I think this strategy can make your favorite Pokemon viable. I, I think we, we, we got some, Halucha got some good kills there. You know, it was a good time. I, I think if I were to change this team, I would switch it to speed boosting Iron Crown. Although, you know, one could argue that this Iron Crown is a little better with Trick Room on Indeedee and stuff like that. Um, I didn't find myself using Heal Pulse because, like, Helping Hand has priority. So there was a lot of turns where Ndidi was about to die that I do think Helping Hand would have been a better choice there. All that being said, I did have fun with, with is the point of this channel. So uh, use the team if you want. Rental code's above. Ooh, look, I got it right. I got the pointing right. I almost never get it wrong. Rental code's above if you want to use it. I'd probably recommend making some changes, but I don't think this team is, like, unusable the way it is. Um, any other Pokemon you want me to use, comment down below low, or join the Discord. If you built a team yourself and you want me to feature it on the channel, I would love to do so. And like, comment, subscribe, all that mumbo jumbo. Uh, always looking for new ideas and new people to talk to and friends to make and yada, yada, yada. Bye. Okay. <laughs>